Good evening, folks, and welcome once again to the Hour of the Time. I'm your host, William Cooper. We continue where we left off last Friday night, February the 12th. And I want to quickly reiterate that what you're going to hear does not necessarily reflect my beliefs or my religion or the beliefs of the staff or management of WWCR Worldwide Christian Radio. What you are hearing, folks, is for the first time in history the public revelation of the origin, the history, the dogma, and the identity of those who operate in secret to bring about a worldwide totalitarian socialist government. They are known to Christians as Mystery Babylon. It is an ancient religion. Now get a pencil and paper ready because if you did not tape last Friday night's broadcast or if you did not hear it, you must order it. You must order it. You have to have this information. And if you have any possible way to tape tonight's broadcast, either tape it or order this tape. You can order studio quality tapes from us and I will give you that information later in this broadcast. Make sure, as always, that you have pencil and paper or pen and paper by your side at all times. You will want to write down important portions of this broadcast, and you certainly will want to get our address and phone number and the price of the tapes. Those of you who are smart enough to know what is transpiring here know that these are historic broadcasts, and by making these broadcasts, I have sealed my fate. Thank you. 
The sun enters each heavenly sign or house of the zodiac in what is called the 30th degree and leaves at the 33rd degree. Thus God's son is said by the ancients to begin his ministry at 30 and dies at 33. A Freemason is not told the truth of the object of his worship until he attains the 30th degree. And this is why the highest degree in Freemasonry is the 33rd degree, for no one can rise higher than the sun. When viewing the shimmering rays of sunlight on a body of water at dawn or sunset, one can still see today how God's sun walks on water. It was well understood by ancient man that our weather was caused and controlled by the sun. It was a simple fact that God's sun had the power to control storms at will. The ancient Egyptians taught that he did this as he rested in his heavenly boat while crossing the sky. Thus we read that God's sun quieted the tempest or great storm on the sea while in his boat. Which boat? The boat of Isis. Ra, the sun god, also known as Osiris, in the bark of millions of years in which he traversed the heavens, he wears on his head and accompanies a vast sun disk symbolizing his powers as lord of the heavens. The boat formed of a serpent bears his eye, and the god is seated on a pedestal representing Mayet, the divine order. Folks, when we stop to realize that every single king, prince, lord, governor, dictator, despotic ruler, civil and social institution, national flag, coat of arms, educational institution, military medal, award, organizational insignia, medallion, badge, emblem, citation, trophy, banner, pendant, political standard, or ensign, agency of government, or religion, uses the sun as a primary symbol, then it can truly be said in the mystery school that God's Son is, quote, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, unquote. 